thanks for joining me on my Marco Report. My name is Mike, and my Marco Report is on mortgage rates. We get into explaining what's going on with the mortgage rates uh, and what's impacting them on any given day. Sometimes it could be coming from the economic calendar or a combination of economic calendar and headline news or geopolitical. Sometimes the market even, the sentiment changes, and uh, people who aren't following the market or aware of what's going on may not understand why it's good news, now bad news. So we kind of try to give out those explanations and hopefully give you uh, the information you need to make an informed decision. Uh, If you're looking to refinance or purchase, you're probably following mortgage rates, and hopefully this information will give you what you need. Uh, A little bit about myself is I am a loan officer. I do work with the National Lender. We do loans in all 50 states, so of course we would love to be able to help you with those refinance or purchase needs. But not only that, we'd like to be your resource uh, if you've got questions in regards to uh, mortgage plan rates or programs available out there, or you know, those are just two examples. If you got other questions, please feel free to reach out. We are here to answer them, get the try to get the answers for you on those. Uh, to move on, why don't we uh, start off with the economic calendar? We got the big news today, and that is the report from BLS or Bureau of Labor Statistics and the jobs data. We'll start off with the average work week uh, for February. So the previous report for January was at 34. And a half. However, that did get revised slightly higher to 34.6. Forecast was supposed to be, uh, remain unchanged at 34.6, and it had another uptick to 34.7. Now, average earnings uh, back in uh, January, it rose 0.7. However, that got revised slightly lower to 0.6% month over month. Uh, forecast was gone for a half a percent and remained unchanged for the month of February. Uh, so that might give the Fed a little bit more breathing room in terms of inflationary data. So uh, we'll, definitely that's something we'll keep our eye on, but uh, that was something that uh, uh, is kind of helping the markets in some respect. Now, unemployment rate, uh, January was at 4%. Forecast has gone for a dip to 3.9, and it dipped a little bit further at 3.8%. So good overall news that we're seeing the unemployment continue to drop. Uh, and then the big one, the non-farm payrolls for the month of February. So January, we had 467 announced last month. However, that got revised slightly higher to 481, which is obviously good news. Uh, and last but not least, the forecast for this month, or February, was at 400,000. And it came in much hotter at 678,000. So overall, very good reports today. We had great news. However, stock market is down because why? Uh, well, we got the... Um, News out of Ukraine and Russia. Uh, apparently, a nuclear power plant uh, was shelled and was on fire. And there's a lot of concern, obviously, uh, you know, uh, obvious reasons why people would be concerned over that because now we've got potential uh, nuclear hazards over there. But in any case, it seems like it's uh, kind of settled in and it looks like things are okay over there for now. So, the stock market is still in negative territory. Uh, however, mortgage-backed securities, we're in still pretty good shape here. We're at up 31 basis points currently. We've been seeing some flex- uh, volatility of late. Uh, we were up higher, and then uh, so some lenders may have uh, priced in a little bit better, depending on when they came off the rate sheets, but have pulled back since then. And uh, so depending on uh, where they are, uh, they could potentially come in a price for the worst. Now, price for the worst is still better than what we saw yesterday. We had... A good close yesterday. Today, we started off higher. We're still 31 basis points higher, but we were even higher than that, and we're um, we're seeing, at one point, a little bit better pricing. So we'll wait and see if uh, lenders come out with better pricing or not, or, I mean, worse pricing, or if they will just kind of maintain the pricing, so if that makes sense. so uh, But it's potential that lenders could come out for a reprice for the worst, but I think they're going to wait towards later in the day before they make a decision uh, for any repricing unless uh, something else happens. Now, here's the volatility. As we saw, we're kind of down here. We kind of worked our way upwards, but since then, we've been kind of working our way down. And so right here, we had a big drop here. Since then, we kind of pulled back a little bit, and we got this little wick here. So again, uh, some volatility we're starting to see here um, in, the, in its current position right now. So we're fast approaching the high we had uh, on Tuesday. Uh, we were we were kind of approaching that today, but we pulled back on that. So it could be some uh, again market selling, market pushing, uh, you know, trying trying to get some, uh, move movement in there in the in the position where investors are more comfortable 
at buying mortgage backed securities. We are getting a flight to safety. This is what's helping mortgage backed security uh, from people leaving the equities and putting into gold, dollars, and then, of course, uh, bonds. And this is what mortgage backed securities are, are part of bonds, our bond program. So, again, uh, pricing is better today. Mortgage rates are a little bit better today than what we saw yesterday. And uh, that's obviously the good news. Let's look at treasuries, and treasuries have come down too. We're down to about 1.74 now. Uh, breaking below the 50-day moving average as well as the technical level. Did touch, a, did touch off another technical level, uh, but has, again, kind of like its counterpart, it did subside a little bit uh, as well. Now, last but not least, we'll jump into the uh, uh, average rate for a conforming loan limit. It does have points built into it. We'll start off with the 30-year fix, which is, came at 4.09. Uh, and then the 15-year is at 3.41. Now, this is pretty much the same what we saw yesterday, so we may see some uh, improvements on this on Monday, but it seems like yesterday this was kind of the same uh, number, uh, if I remember correctly. All right, folks, uh, that's pretty much the wrap for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did uh, if you like these videos, please help us out and smash that like button and uh, hit sh and share us around. We'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe. Uh, in the meanwhile, we'll look forward to see you guys on Monday. You guys have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you guys on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.